Yo, what is everybody? Welcome to the final episode of Batman the Telltale series. So this episode is called City of Light. It's going to be episode 5. So the description is, The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose, and Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. I am very, very excited. I don't really want to waste any time. Just get right back into it. And I have absolutely loved the support I've gotten on the past couple of videos. I am so surprised that everybody liked this this much. I'm so proud of it's all that. Obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Oh yeah. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the Fails. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. Yeah, Harry blew up a whole city block. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Well, thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Okay. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Five days later. Breaking news. Jeez. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Jesus. Carry on, Jen. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. No, please. Oh shit! No. Jumps up on my desk. Ooh, that is pretty neat. Batman sighted, boss. Right on top. Did he get a new suit? Because it looks repaired. Commissioner, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. God, I love these fight scenes so much. Batman! No! It's a trap! No, 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 he's gonna get shot, he's gonna get shot. He's gonna get shot. Not now. No. Shit. <laughs> you have to stop them. Save our city. Commissioner! Commissioner! He's... He's gone. Shit. People are gonna blame us now. Damn. Uh, 
Nope, never mind. Batman's suit isn't repaired. Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Oh yeah. Prove the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me off in a police commissioner. Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on them, they'll go easy on you. I don't need toys to deal with the likes of you. You sure about that, Batman? Because from the look of it, you could use a little help. Ta-ta, Batman! Whoa! Shit! No, no, come on, just stay put. I'm not just gonna stay put so you can kill me. The fuck? Oh, oh bloody! Hey, dumbass. If I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. Look out. He's made improvements. Even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech. In Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. Gash tear out. Those wires. Listen. One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that... The Batsuit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce? Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable, but far from helpless. Penguin wants hostages to bait Batman. Bruce Wayne will be the perfect hostage. You can get close and strike when he least expects it. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is- Wayne, get back! Jesus Christ! Martinez! I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-bit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. I'm the last person Oswald will expect. I can use that. This isn't a gala, Mr. Wayne. Just making an appearance isn't gonna do jack all. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. 
If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. All right, well, this is different. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. Shit. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. I'll smash all the dumb faces. Weird. Get the word out I kind of like it though. Channels. Interesting. The Episode five. Bark. City of Light. Oswald. Bruce, welcome. The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure. Not that I'm upset, but. What does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm chuffed you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he knows it's a trap. You haven't exactly been subtle. See, that's the thing about Batman. You dangle an innocent life in front of him, and he has to show he can't help himself. And when he arrives, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. I've done all right by all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago. You and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? I always treated you with respect, Oz. Respect? Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned the word after I tossed you out of your company. Damn it! Where the hell is he? He's usually so bloody prompt. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. Just me. Same as it's ever been. Always a loner, Bruce. Might have something to do with your temperament. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. 
Felt like you were working out some issues there. Hey, Bruce? I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged and... You? Hitting me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The Waynes caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. Batman, my dad. We're done chatting, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. You'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park. All right, fine. It's my fault, Oz. What now? You're right. Everything that happened, everything you've gone through, that blame falls on me. On my whole family. How unlike you to admit your faults. Maybe you think that'll save you, eh? Ha! <laughs> but guess what? It won't! Oh, bloody hell! Oh, oh, oh! for an answer. <laughs> Is that all you got? Enjoy prison, Cobblepot. It's where you're gonna spend the rest of your life. Freedom is right. Considering he's part of a terrorist organization, I don't feel like he has many. I gotta admit, you surprise me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. Let's settle for a beer. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> Gotham will hear of this. Anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. <sighs> he has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. Nice intro. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave. But it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This... 
This is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. All right, well, I uh, determined the link between also Cobblepot and Vicky Vale your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? All right. Um... Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... Unless... Hold on. Security. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. So no, I was, <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. Always wanted money, didn't he? Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. An actual report. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Cobblepot Enterprise. <laughs> Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Orn. Fuck. Lady Arkham file. Vicky Vale, mid 30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. 
to think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. All right, Vicky Vale Gazette. The records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Unlock. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. I was feel? looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Uh, Vicky Vale went Vicky tech. was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Mother fucker. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, Mother but... Fucker. Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. expecting you thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least if you wanted to see me you could have just called <laughs> the chase is so much more fun but I know you're not here for me are you I don't blame you for wanting it back <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this no doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to oh, dig my beneath you. into. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. Oh, shit. So I did something. I know you're just playing into my pride. But I know, accidentally, I like, put up a screenshot. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. 
poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control, and he wanted to destroy Gotham, if you did the same. And yes, I put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. That's not what I want, Selina. I don't want to be enemies. <sighs> Look, Bruce, I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. I had no idea what she was talking about when I said that. Another job. A more intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. You're more than that. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Mm. Because I love you, Selena. You... You barely know me. Bruce... If that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Goodbye, Selena. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Fuck! Alfred? Alfred! Oh, shit. Alfred! Shit. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. <gasps> You're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? There's a scuff mark. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? This furniture. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. The scuff marks could be from the ash. Never mind. 
What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Well, except for this little table here. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. So I think I can link that to that. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Shit. Alfred's a badass. Broken lock. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Holy shit. How the hell? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. What the scuff mark could come from? Well, there is only one thing left. That in the bookshelf. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast scattering all he's trying to ask like fucking path, iron man throwing him against the wall by the fireplace so alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself but lady arkham deflected alfred's attack causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall more blood on the mantle he smashed his face into it jesus Wait, that picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Probably something written on the back. Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry, you'll get him back eventually. Peace, my bloody peace. Alfred. We have to keep a cool head, Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. All right. Alfred keeps Will there be a montage? Like, 
the reflection. Cheap little montages are always sure weird as hell. Reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. Damn it. Still offline. Well, I need to get this working again. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up, cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. I don't think it's this. Basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Okay, oh dear. For all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a According word. to this, it has a basement, which means that it must be it. What the, the fuck? Prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good Whipped call. It. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. I didn't have much. There's a whole voice changer in it. Like, damn. There's a whole audio mixer in, inside of it. Like, got, like, damn, dude. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Ooh. Just be prepared. I knew there'd be some shit here. Back. I'm all right. Like imagine like after everything that's what fucking kills him. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it. There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. He's pissed. Standing by. The 
blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This uh. is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Where they beat him. <laughs> There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. I love the voice of Wee voices this guy. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? You can push it open. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. You don't want to make too much noise and alert them. Is that a piss There's bucket? A small room. Pretty sure that was a There's piss a bucket. Like, like I, I wouldn't be surprised. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm just gonna pull it out. We don't need to call out, okay? I'm going inside. What the fuck? Bloody belts. down there do you see alfred no what the f some kind of torture chamber shackles belts blood what vicky she was kept down here locked away who could do that to their child i'm beginning to understand what is there to understand to willfully hurt a child it's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. Jesus. The chalk here is different. Newer. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Jesus fuck, dude. Belt. It's caked in blood. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Jesus fuck. Alfred's glasses. Well, he was definitely down here then. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. One piece apart from the others. Blue. The same color as my tech. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Figures... Fleeing from something. Is that... Arkham Asylum? Some of the words have been highlighted. She... Will... Liberate. I right, to guess this and that definitely link. 
Shepard left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she will and liberate. She will liberate? I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. Shit. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. There's a camera in there. A hundred percent, there's probably a camera in there. Welcome to Asylum, 12.15 a.m. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know. How I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Oh, shit. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Oh, fuck. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me at him. He's the crazy one. Oh, oh, oh! My camera died. Shit, shit! My camera died. I didn't. I didn't even know it. Fuck, fuck. All right, let's get this shit done. Oh my god, he took them all out. Whoa, whoa! Harvey Dent. Oh! Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. 
<laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh out of Oh my god, fuck. Holy shit. What the fuck? You're not getting away, Vicky. Link to the fucking food tray, god damn it. WWE move with that chair. Uh, link the taser to him. Fifty thousand volts. Kick our ass, dude. Whoa. Never mind. Oh shit, you got a buzz cut. Take your time, Saz. That's the plan. Goddamn Zaz. Where's John Doe? Oh fuck! Kick ass, Gordon. Hey, what's up? Inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. Let's shake his hand. Oh my God, they're grabbing. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus fuck. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop, Lady Arkham. The guy that plays Gordon also sounds familiar. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. They're ghosts. Walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Murphy Geyer him him. plays him. My pleasure. That's familiar. Oh, fuck! Just gonna set my phone down. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. I mean, fair and fair. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. Yeah, but, but, but that's his only family. Anyone 
can find him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Oh. Oh, we gotta be ready in case she she attacks or something. Oh! Shit! Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men. Oh, dude, I swear, Shift Q is the hardest thing to press down ever, especially with the way I have my keyboard. I have my keyboard slanted at an angle. That's just how I like it. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. Exactly, when man. I saw it, I found it. Inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. I don't think so. What kind of seance shit is this? This is like some demonic seance type of shit. Hold on, Alfred. You... You... You came... You came for me. Uh, after what you said... I knew you'd come. The man... The man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you- Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you care. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Move it. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. 
He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Ask again time. The only truth left is in your death. Ass kicking time. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, Batman's got a battle damage suit. Whoa! Ooh, we broke the stick. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge! Oh. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost, forgotten, buried. And Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. Holy shit! Alright, we need to get the Alfred the fuck out of here. Um... 
damn that shit was awesome a week later as to last week's events at arkham asylum a spokesperson for the gcpd assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells miss vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the batman her death marks the end of children of arkham's reign of terror be to your hell if the public tear hell half of it Lucius. Lucius it's better that they don't Jesus Christ Anywhere you got a whole chunk head. bitten out of his ear I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon you got a whole chunk out of his Everything fucking ear been going on I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did sacrificing your identity for my safety but uh, it was a dangerous thing to do you could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. Alfred will remember After that, of everything course. Everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> Add a little eye patch to it. That it Add does. a miniature eye patch to it. That'll have some character. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina. And all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, a commissioner citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that Gordon requested Gotham's <gasps> leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Goodness gracious. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for its future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. That's a lot to live up to, you know. Uh, I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, so let's hope we can live up to it. To do about so, I mean, tonight. you know, good. Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable as Bruce you could help repair the damage done to your name get the public support so that you can change things from the top down but Batman is a symbol of justice and strength maybe in these dark times that is truly what Gotham needs the most mm. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Who's Bruce? Let Gordon know. Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful.
Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? Uh, it looks painful. Cut myself shaving? Yeah. What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did. So we can all move forward. Oh, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. I read it for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen. I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those Goodness people. gracious. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Ah. Woo. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. Too bad the kind of leaving will be the most Arkham Asylum in the dust. Police force in the dust. In the country. Because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. What the fuck? Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. Well, very exciting way to end the series, which well, Just ending the season at least. Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. Holy shit, he's out. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> oh, episode 5, City of Light. Did you successfully distract Penguin? You and 76.9% of players distracted Penguin long, long enough for Gordon to get the job done. 
Where the fuck am I clicking? Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? Comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. You and 27% of players told out from that it doesn't matter who who is at fault. All that matters is fixing the problem. I mean, yeah. Had you and 91.3% of players regarded Selena as more than a thief. Alright. Did you take off the cow? You and 73.1% of players remove your cow and remove your and revealed your identity to Vicky. Did you attend Gordon's address as Bruce or Batman? You and 61.6% .6 of players showed up to Gordon's address as Batman. Well. Overall for four season overview. Shit. Collaborative, 89%. Merciful, 83%. Um, cunning, 69%, compassion, 89%. Well, I don't know. All the Badlands Adventures, wherever books or comics are sold. Comics or books are sold. So, uh, yeah. I have definitely enjoyed this series, and I can't wait to start Season 2 soon. And I just bought The Expanse, so I'll do a video on that soon. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you guys liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.